everybody. Sorry for the squeaky chair. And sorry for being in a bit of a blur. Um, you'll see why in a minute. Um, I just want to show off um, our first ever, am I saying our first ever? Our first ever 3D print uh, that my son Django made in plasticine. And, uh, and we took, uh, we did a whole variety of different bits and pieces <laughs> to take that plasticine 3D model and turn it into uh, a, a 3D file on the computer, uh, fully textured, and, uh, and then we uploaded it to Shapeways. And I just want to show you the model. So this is why I'm out of focus, so we can actually just see the model here. And you can see I put it on a disc, uh, and all that, that patination is actually the, the same texture that's, uh, that's wrapped around the model, but flat. Um, and you can kind of see how big it is. It fits on the palm of my hand like that, so uh, that's the kind of size it is. I'm going to rule around to measure it, but I reckon it's about, it's about five centimeters tall. Uh, after we after we'd made the model, um, I sent it to a little bit of software, a really clever bit of software um, called One One Two Three Catch Beta. Okay, it's by Autodesk, it's free. And um, let's see if we can move this about. So as you can see here, we've got some tools at the top, and there is our pretty good render. Of, um, of the plastic model that, uh, that Django made. You can see there's some holes, there's some holes at the bottom, uh, and uh, I took it into Cinema 4D to fix those holes. So basically, so I take it from, from this stage, and you can see where the cameras are. Let's, let's move out, and you can see where all these little shapes here um, are where, and if I roll over them, you can see the actual photos. So the reason I find this exciting for me is that I can do this uh, with primary school kids. We can kind of make uh, uh, this. Is, this particular model is uh, is made in something called uh, coloured sandstone. So it's quite. It's there's a reason why it feels a bit gritty. And maybe you could see some of that, that those kind of particles. If I get it really in focus. Um, but that means we can get colour on it uh, because each it's like an ink. Each particle can be coloured. Uh, it's solid all the way through. This it's not a hollow. Uh, it's not hollowed out. Um, and that's that's kind of that's basically it. Arrived. Um, it arrived about a, a week and a half after I uh, uploaded it to the internet. And um, and this is my my son's what he calls his Nothronicus. So he's dead into dinosaurs at the moment. And we he built this sort of dinosaur for himself. And I suggested that we made a toy. <laughs> he was a little bit disappointed because he, he thought it was, was going to be bigger. Because <clears throat> his actual model was quite big. But when we did this, I shrank it down, mainly for cost, uh, because I wanted to keep the cost down. So there it is. Um, it's it cost about 20, 20 something pounds, and that included um, that includes shipping as well. For us in the UK, it came from the Netherlands, so I don't know how. I'm going to shape my uh, sorts that out. But there you go. It's pretty darn cool. Okay, uh, and I'm going to put this with the rest of the videos, and, and you'll see the the original photos as well. So there it is, Nothronicus.